I'm Patrick Bryant, CEO of software development firm Code and Trust, and also the chairman of the Harbor Entrepreneur Center. This is Entrepreneur Studio, brought to you by SC Biz News. And before we get started, I have to give a shout out to our new sponsor and longtime supporter of all things entrepreneurial and friends of ours, Matt Pardick and Chris Corley of Harbor Wealth Management Group. I'm here today with Greg Surratt, one of my favorite entrepreneurs in Charleston, uh, who's just absolutely brilliant at, at scale. And I look forward to sharing one of his life stories of, of growing Seacoast Church and the organization with you. Uh, Greg, I, I'll just hit right off the bat. Uh, and these are always the tough ones, but they're really where we, we find the life lessons that make these stories important which is give us a, a low light, like give us a moment where you just were, were super down, things weren't going the way you wanted and you, and you figured yeah. it out. I, I could probably give you about 20 of those. <laughs> <laughs> those are a lot uh, more helpful and more plentiful than you know, the successes. But I can remember um, about 22 years ago, 23 years ago, um, we had a small building and we're doing a lot of services. And um, I was tired, exhausted, and we decided, well, let's build a bigger building. You know, we uh, purchased land around us, and um, at, at kind of the at the at the last minute, uh, in the process, the town of Mount Pleasant said no, mm. and there were a variety of reasons: traffic, all kinds of things. But um, so I did. I was so discouraged. I thought, mm. what mm -hmm. are we going to do? I was embarrassed. Because we were, you know, uh, uh, you're kind of in it at this point. We're in you it. Bought, bought land. Oh, we're in you're, it. You're, yeah. yeah. How do you explain that? Mm -hmm. So I went back to my office and I uh, turned on some country music and and uh, turned the lights down. That's what I do when I feel sorry for myself because they always lose something, you know, a car, a truck, a dog. <laughs> and um, uh, it was in those moments that um, I really had a, a foundational principle. Uh, that settled in, it really settled in my heart, and that's that uh, God is omniscient, so he's never been surprised. So he's not surprised by this. So there must be a solution somewhere. Let's get over on the solution side. Mm. And Innovation, of, right? Yeah, I mean, well, <laughs> I, I like to say that innovation is desperation in a pretty package. That's all it is. You get <laughs> desperate, nice. get your back against the wall, you got to figure it out, right? That's right, that's right. And so for us, the innovation became multi-site. Mm. Uh, and uh, where just the idea was, you know, I mean, Lowe's, ha you, you don't just go to one place in a city necessarily, mm -hmm. have another site. But churches were always in one place on one piece of real estate. Well, who made that rule? Mm -hmm. And so we innovated a little bit, experimented with it. And uh, uh, yeah, and churches all over the world now are doing multi-site. Right. And uh, so that was... Uh, well, a lot of those churches, you've, you've trained them how to do multi-site. We did. Right? We did early <laughs> you're, on, yeah. You're, you're yeah. now a, They you're would now come and say, how do you do this? You know? <laughs> right. and, yeah. 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 So yeah. that was, uh, that came out of a very discouraging time. But it, uh, uh, yeah, like I said, you, you get desperate and you innovate. I love it. So such a great story. Thanks for sharing it with us, Greg. Thank you. Thank you.